Yeah, you're chilling. Don't even worry about the macro. If your comms are good, you try your best to play good macro. They're gonna pop B. They're gonna pop B flat. I really think the problem is like this. I feel like we're about to take some bad fights. And no amount of like cracked aim is gonna make a fight good here. Let's see though. Yeah, we just get blinded. Because we're playing stairs. Fight stairs with me, Reyna. I'm fighting off you. This guy's minus 60. I'm going away. Spike down B. And now this is good. No info, maybe lurking A. Yeah, th this lane peak is the first part of the round where I felt like we have a huge advantage. And do you feel the same way? Like, if there was an enemy lane right now, do you feel confident on this duel? Like, let's say that right here. Yeah, I do it pretty often. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, this is the first duel of the round that I like. It's it's the first one where you would actually have an advantage. Yeah, I get multi-frags. Good, good, good. Because this duel is awkward. This is awkward. Um, and let's pull up. Who do, who do you like watching on Killjoy? Because we can probably find some ascent b holds who's your who's your killjoy idol because it's no longer mechanics pika never heard of him bet yeah look where we started the round ignore the sheriff by we started around lane on this angle that you liked um peaking lane and i like that angle a lot more too pre-aiming for dart timing peaking see we're not holding we're peaking He doesn't even want to give away that he's rotating. Bro's got the silent drop. Oh, wait, wait, look, look, look. So we're losing the round? Peeking. What a beast. Get out of my way! Perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect. They're about to get rushed. Do you see how fast? Like, I've never watched this player before, okay? But do you see how they're immediately playing the way that I tell you you should be playing? Uh, there's no secrets. It's just, um... So they're getting rushed on B, and it should come as no surprise to you where Pike is currently playing. We ran from lane to right here. Does it sort of make sense? Because this fight is good for us. And let's see what happens. Bam. Oh, oh, Beck gets his ult. Uh oh, this is dangerous. Oh, thank you, Astro. Oh. So, yes, our aim is cracked, but Pika is positioning in a way that enables him to get two, in a way that you probably could get two as well. Um, maybe not against these Radiant players, but in your lobbies against the Ascendants, you would get two. Does that make sense? Sure. We'll look at the A hold for a sec. We're in a, a weird off angle here, and I'm sure you can imagine if they come out, we probably get one for free. Like Peeker's advantage. Reposition, peek over here, and notice no holding, no holding. We peek and we tuck. What, what's Peeker's ping? I'm actually curious. Is he gonna hold tab again? This is very good. Hold my short. I like how he doesn't hold. It, it actually feels high ping. 60? Oh, perfect. Yeah. Because <laughs> the way he's playing, it actually does look like he has high ping. Um, notice how he never holds. He peaks the angle. Yeah. He's not afraid to peak the angle, though. But we peak. We peak. And we don't hold. We're moving. Because um, standing still on higher ping is like, you're dead. <laughs> they run okay neon how we doing how we doing we got notes it hits the world's hardest wall in mid immortal if you don't start treating every fight like it's your last fight literally your only problem is you don't convert 50s even remotely okay yeah so the way this works by the way is it's called engagement mmr which is like part of the way the matchmaking system tries to predict what rank you belong in and it's based off of of course your engagements so we're trying to make you uh clean that up 
Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Okay. Uh, this is probably fine. I don't think they're going to realize your tiles unless they're bot mid right now. I'd just be a little worried because you're playing this lurk role, but let's take a look. Okay, it's tough to be in aging tree now. Yeah, we're too slow, that's for sure. I'm just coming. So, short. The eyes are short. Go be, go be. Come on. Yeah, so. Your team is rushing a main here, as you can see. In fact, they're rushing quite effectively. Uh, props to your team. They're very, very quick. We're only five seconds in. They're already coming out of A main. Um, but in this scenario, try to picture yourself as the tree player right now. And if you're the tree player, boom. If you're the tree player and they're flooding out A main, you are almost certainly coming into the smoke right here to like spam out or play over here to play for a shot or you're gonna come peek, okay? These are like the three things you can really do. You're with me so far? Okay, so there's these like four options they have and one of them is coming to clear mid, but generally speaking, when they come to clear mid, they are going to like very quickly peek this line that you're on and then they're gonna come out and check catwalk and then they're gonna like turn around and go back to tree. Um, you probably know this, you've been there. They're not really expecting you tiles here um, and even if they do make contact with you, I think it's a pretty fair engagement um, and you're, you're pretty likely to just catch them on bad timing because you only have to look one place. You're just always looking catwalk. That makes sense. So I like walking out faster here when your team's rushing. The The big risk to you is bot mid, uh, but I'm not too worried about bot mid. I would go faster because your team's going faster. So we're chilling. Watch out short behind us. I'm watching CT. Okay. They run, they run, they run. I'm curious. Why don't you want to walk up like close to these barrels? Like what? what's causing you to hesitate to get more aggressive? Because like we're down numbers. It's basically 2v4. Our breach has a single millimeter of HP. Timing on which they see me, I think. So, so right here... If we walk forward, you think it's bad timing? Yeah, I, I would take risk here. I don't like that we're playing so cautious. On sides. Yeah, we just have no smokes. Love it. Watch your mark, one thing. I got sight, oh, I got bad. Marco to CT. Last player. Okay, 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 okay. If I just want to win another fight, like drop everything else right now in your head, all I care about is you getting another kill. That's it. We're not going to win the round. What are you doing? Like, give me a play. Are you doing the same thing or do you, do you want to do something else? Shift back to lane since KO called up site. Yeah, yeah, I like lane a lot. I like that. I think that would be good. I'm also down uh, if you said you want to get like close stairs, catch them off guard. Marco, like I want you in a headspace here where the only thing that matters, like you need to be a KD player right now because we're just doing damage to their economy. Down B. Last player standing. Um, like there exists a world where a player grabs this guardian I got and sight. throws it off the map. Sight. Like in boat. I get one though. I'm sure you, I, I believe you. Marco to CT. But this looks like the type of engagement they would expect. Nice shot. Marco to CT. That's right. You should stun on the reveal contract, my brother. But yeah, then you just take the duel again. Maybe. Okay, so let's pause here. Because here now, I think it's even more clear that you want to reposition if we're just trying to get another kill. So uh, I'm trying to figure out where your mental block is. And right now it's feeling like your mental block. You might be thinking that duels in this game are just all aim. Like maybe that's why we're struggling a bit because we are just taking this. Eyes are down. 
Mark it as it aiming is. and dueling. And you see Omen just jump spot us and wide swung, which is really uh, hard for us to deal with here. Placing swamp grenade. Revealing area. Placing swamp grenade. I have the spike. Burn knife though. Nades are coming now. I'm nading. I'm nading market. Okay, market nade is failed. Yeah. I, I, did we call this night round? I feel like five stack rushing with no smokes is a recipe for disaster. Do the same be again. Okay. Mm. I can nade market and. Yeah, I think maybe just say, okay, I'm down. Can we split mid or something? I can jet and breach take market. Uh, I can flash <laughs> But now nobody wants to go out because like these are smokes. <laughs> yeah, they just CT lane. Honestly, probably market too. Good spray, good spray. I like that. Put up front side. I'm fine. Annoying. Yo, judge, judge lever. Shot down. Yeah, I mean, no smokes is just tough. You, you definitely do not five stack rush into a Cypher's bomb so site. I can't tell you that much. CC. Yeah, I like this a lot more. Oh my go market, god. Go market, go market with so well. So, GPC, GPC. I'm nading, I'm nading, I'm nading. We need to go with my nade. Good, good. Watch out behind you. Or is it close? It's close, it's close. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 look. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're too worried about just taking engagements. So this is like a really tough angle to fight on, and there's two of them, but your team is flooding through market. So like we can just alarm bot on the ground here and play in this right corner. So like we can place an alarm bot over here, outside of their vision so they can't just shoot it immediately, and we can talk. There's multiple ways to fight for space, and I think you're getting caught in your head that you just have to swing and fight them uh, because I give you notes that your your gunfights are are bad. But gunfights being bad doesn't necessarily mean we just want to engage in every every duel. We we want to fight them for sure, but on our own terms, if that makes sense. We've taken market control. This was very difficult for us to acquire, and now that we have market control, we we have the luxury of not having to give them this fight anymore. If that makes sense. Sometimes you do have to take awkward fights, like when we were scaling into market. We didn't have a choice, but now we have the opportunity to really control this space a lot more carefully. Does that make sense? Oh. Out. Yeah, you, you lagged Bomb on the jump spot. Bad, bad. Cypher A. Come here, come here, come here. Kill to zombie. I mean, yo, bridge, you should plant. Joke's over! You're I dead! Go plant. You have, you have money. I'm gonna nade heaven. Oh, he's just peeking. Bro. You can ult kill Dre. I'm nading heaven. Oh, we plant. I like the nade. After plant, okay, I'm ulting after plant. Older. I like the ult. My, my turret has your heaven walk out. I'm picking up your heaven contact. But there's no world they're gonna fight here. Bro, wow, these guys are crazy. It's gonna be the thing. Heaven, heaven. Mm -hmm. We have bridge hold. Last player standing. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm picking up your heaven contact. Yeah, so like you peeking tree here is a bit, bit crazy. Like, it it sort of makes sense, but if I'm peeking tree, I definitely want to like jump out and air strafe left. Cause yeah, the, the heaven angle is a big problem. Just call the start. Go main, go main. Yeah, you just ignored right, Catwalk entirely. Main. You see? Definitely cannot do that. Uh, Tunnel vision? Yeah, you did. I'm mostly ignoring the macro to just look at the engagements we're finding. He has go up, Cat. Go up, Cat. He's still there. He's still there. He has ulti. Yeah, we, we hold too much. We hold a lot. You just have to turn this into peeking. Like every couple seconds, peek out. And as you start peeking, convince yourself that there will be an enemy there each time you peek it. Um, I believe you're playing on like 50 ping, so it's even more important. Like this type of static hold above, honestly, like above 20 is really miserable in this game. I think you're gonna you're gonna find a lot more success if you take any time you're holding an angle and unless you have an op or a judge, turn it into peeking, okay? So pretty much any hold. So when you're holding B main here, turn that into peeking. Uh, here you're holding catwalk, turn that into peeking. 
The only time you should be holding is if you're in a really tricky off angle. And even then you might want to be wiggling a bit side to side because 50 ping is really annoying to play around. Cat, go up, cat. Okay. And, and that's why you died here. Like you have no time to react. I'm dead ass. You can't do anything about this. Go up, cat, go up, cat. So you have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And at this point, he's probably already shot you. 18, 19, 20, 2, 23, 24, and then it registers on your screen. But um, if you shot like in that last five, six frames, it wouldn't have even registered. Stay there, stay there. You're already stay dead there. to this guy. That omen is a beast. I got you. Good. Oh, fuck, I missed it. Also, this is what it looks like for the enemy omen when he peeked to you catwalk or tiles. Do you see how easily you lay this guy out? That's what it feels like to peek someone holding and not moving. This is the kill that the enemy omen got on you that other round where you were just holding. I gotta play it back. I need you to see how easy these kills are. Oh, fuck, I missed it. I got you. Like, it's so easy. I'm gonna nade heaven. Reloading. Oh, for God's sake. One down. One down. Oh, bad? Oh, what a bad retool. Oh, fuck. Three, you'll ever. It's not. It's not. <laughs> Side, they heard jump, by the way. Yeah, no, he should have breach ulted tree, but also we should have canceled. Like, it's Cypher's site. We got two picks. We've never faked. Nothing B, nothing They might B. go she, they might go she, which are... Also, Tomo, I love this kill on Omen. Marina. Notice how it's a lot easier when we're like peeking. This Tomo is really good. B, nothing B, nothing They B, might B, go she, they might go she, which are... Yeah, I would B, just man. knife out somewhere over towards the tree. Here, yeah. Reina, go in the corner, go in the corner, we'll pick crossfire. Good. Beast mode. Seconds left. Let me go first though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't hold. Don't hold. Like, peek it on timing. Oh, you have an alarm bot. Never mind. Who cares? My alarm bot is still here. Oh, never mind. Deep me. Two, two, two. Wait, I'm coming back. I have. I need to read it. One enemy remaining. Spike down mid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I'm getting no, that's fine. Fucking yeah, 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 yeah. Good angle. Like they legit cannot do anything about you here. Oh, so you can double up lane. Look at you, Neron. Me? Can we just try to anchor? and I come back. Okay. Hey, they might be up on you. Motor cow. Thank you so much for the tier three. Wait. Oh, Going so close. Beam is clear. Watch out, Dave. Watch out. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, he's minus 100. Okay. Freeze. Because I feel like you're about to just peek this guy, Beam. Here. Yeah. Yeah. We got to chill. Death and Argus. Minus 100. We're just fighting. Like, that's not worth it, man. That's not worth it. Yeah, he's minus 100. But like we have a turret lane we could swing off of at the very least with a molly. Our team has full A control. So you are the B anchor. Like I do want you to fight and kill him, but I do not want you to fight and kill him on this angle. Does that make sense? Like I want you to be aggressive, but not this way. There's a lot of other ways we can get aggressive here. Uh, we could even stay stairs here to peek off of our turret's contact. That would not be terrible. But taking this duel this way is a bit disrespectful to their sheriff. Shot. Pushing Marcus? me, pushing me, pushing me, B. Good, yeah, good. GG. Swarm grenade out. GG. Turret for, turret for everything. Outstairs. Turret down. Bunting. Spike planted. I wouldn't have given away I was here. One enemy remaining. Nice. Easy though. I think I can hold it though. Yeah, and that's I. This is why you're struggling, Nayron. This is why you're struggling. Th that fight's no good. You can't settle for a fight that like. I mean. Yeah, they're lit. They have a sheriff. You get why peaking 50 HP guy is bad? Because you're alone on site and there's 20 seconds left and you, you're over peaking all of your util. Your entire setup is for lane, lever. The time pressure is on them, not on you. 
Think of it this way, Neron. You're the player with the Sheriff B main right now, okay? And you have to play against me. Would you rather... There's 20 seconds on the clock, 1v1, okay? Would you rather I'm right out here in the open or I'm playing off my setup somewhere? Somewhere, you don't know where. I could be logs. I could be close lever here. I could be lane. I could be stairs peeking off my turret. You have 20 seconds. You have to push me because you have to plant or you lose the round. Playing off of setup. You want me to be playing off of setup. Like you think that gives you a better advantage? You in the clutch? How do you counter me then? I'm saying, what do you want me to do if you're in the clutch? Be main right now with a sheriff. If you're KO, you've got no abilities because your knife is on cooldown, your flash is on cooldown. Yeah, you want you want this. Like this fight that you're giving KO, yeah, it's good for you. Like I'm not trying to say it's not. You have an advantage, of course. KO's lit, but it's still not strong. This is what KO wants you to do. Like, yeah, you probably win on average when you take this fight, but I don't know. We'll call it an 80% conversion versus a 95% if we played a bit more correctly. Because the timer, the timer and our setup. The setup's just so huge. It's like 70 30, but I don't want to give it because a better option. Yeah, pretty much. It's tough. It's tough. Because like the fight's not bad. Like you're not wrong. There's there's no uh, disadvantage in this duel against KO. Like all else equal, I'm, I like the duel. But all else is not equal right now. Go back side with me, Ken. You're stunning, bro. Who's next? You yeah, are powerless. Go back side. Go back side. Go back side. You're out in the open. You're out in the open. Can't use that. I can't go back side. I uh, hundred on side right here. Yes, yeah. Oh, you're dead. <clears throat> Twenty. Yeah, just a bit too late to get here. It's so close, but yeah, I mean, you started CT, and so they spotted you come here. I wouldn't be surprised if Phoenix is another flash. He is here. This KO also, I mean, hit you with a great jump. No. My teammates didn't get my call. Yeah, you need to worry less about that. I'm pulling up the Pika VOD again, because there were plenty of rounds where Pika's teammates are trash at the B-hold. Well, I should say. Hey, look. Look what our Phoenix is doing. He's just dead. Whatever. But we, we got here on the proper timing. Um, no, I mean, Pika didn't even communicate. Like, kind of trolling. Pika's also calling him out for that. Yeah, but he's not adjusting his play. Pika's not playing worse Valorant to account for this Phoenix. But you are playing worse to account for your teammates. Does that make sense? You're playing slower because you don't want to bait or something, but you should just let them die as long as you communicated what you were going to do. As long as you say, I'm going back site, and if they die because you went back site, like, that's fine. And they're going to solve your ult to try to spam you. So if they do ult, go back site with me. You're stunning, bro. Yeah, perfect. Go back site, go back site, go back site. You're out in the open, you're out in the open. Can't use that. I can't go back, sir. I uh, 100 on side right here. Here. Oh. Here. Go back side with me. You're yeah. stunning. So yeah, so this is what I don't like. I don't like that we're here right now. Bro. Who's right. next? Yeah. Yeah. And then we go CT. Even though we had the plan already. Oh. Go back side, go back side, go back side. Then we go back side. You see how we lost all this time? You're out in the open, you're out in the open. Then we get over I here. I can't go back, sir. Uh, but now they can be up lane, on and so we get nervous about crossing, and we make contact, we do this awkward jump, so we're just a bit dizzy. And if I get there... Pretty sure he's there. Oh! What? Wait. This is so convenient because you remember the KO fight you gave. And I was like, if this were a 1v1, wouldn't it be more annoying to play patient to find a good fight? Because the onus was on KO to come out and plant. Well, now the onus is on you to come out and defuse. And so what's Cypher doing? He's just waiting because you have to clear a billion things and you have to make noise because time's not on your side. Pretty sure he's there. And so this is the POV of the KO if you didn't just give him the drive. Like, what? Wait, I, I could have sworn I, I saw him there. Okay, okay, this is good. Good, good, good. Okay, okay, okay. Gunfight technique plus aim looks a lot crispier. However, we are leaning on this too much and force fights that are not 
strong. Do, 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 do. Too willing to take long range try 50s. Too willing to hold angles on high ping peak with intent to kill and on swing. Do, do. I think that does this perfectly. Do, do, do. Play trickier defensive angles. Do, do, do. Study more. Pika. Conveniently, you said you like Pika, and I mean, we've watched this guy play, and the bird's a beast. They're doing everything correct. Keep coming the way you come, but don't worry about teammates listening or playing correctly. Focus on yourself. Just try to engage in advantageous, aggressive. So your comms are great. I don't want you to stop doing it. You just have to like, got chill. Like if your teammates ignore you, they do something dumb, that's fine. But we still want to be going into a strong angle playing our game. We don't need our teammates. Hey, Wuhujin here. Did you know that I stream every weekday doing VOD reviews and playing ranked? If you enjoy the videos, the best way to support me is to show up live. If this video was just uploaded, it's very likely that I'm streaming right now. All of my coaching is free, but that means I need to make money in other ways. Please consider supporting me with a Discord subscription if you can afford to do so. I run many live events for my tier three subscribers as a thank you for letting me pursue my passion every day. At 2,000 subscribers, I'll be booking a flight out to EU and to APAC to play in-houses on your servers. Thank you for supporting me.